Sometimes in a toy collection, you just got to improvise a little, then be pleasantly surprised when something just works out. While this 1 18th scale throne by Gridiron Studios is based on a certain famous throne from a popular high fantasy series, let's take a closer look at how well this item works with figures from independent toy manufacturers as well as with figures from our more traditional vintage collections. Let's begin. The throne is clearly an homage to the Iron Throne that is made famous by the Song of Ice and Fire books by George R. R. Martin, as well as the HBO television adaptation of both Game of Thrones and its prequel series, House of the Dragon. And of course, the gridiron concept mashes up the high fantasy Seat of Power by loading it up with guns rather than swords to make it more suitable for a military setting. Taking a closer look, the detailing is exquisite, which can be expected by Gridiron Studios. It has a riot shield of sorts in the back along with the Gridiron logo, making it photogenic from all angles. Perhaps it's my own personal attachment to the Delta 17 toy brand, but when I saw this throne, I immediately thought that it was a good fit for the Dark Shadow's enemy leader, namely Shadow Dragon. Maybe it's also somewhat subliminal on my part, but because he has the name Dragon in his title, similar to the Dragon-themed HBO series that I mentioned earlier, as well as the Dragon-riding House Targaryen family that's part of the show. Yes, Shadow Dragon is also samurai-themed, albeit blended in with advanced technology and the fact that he has a factory to produce robot ninjas to do his bidding. Between surrounding the throne with his Okami robots and his sniper rifle wielding assassin Jaguar, this throne in many ways feels like it's a great fit for the Dark Shadows faction. That being said, with my strong bias towards the Delta 17 brand, you as a viewer of course are welcome to draw your own conclusions if you feel it's a good fit here or not. Do take note though, the versatility of this throne which allows it to work with many other lines. I am aware of some of the drawbacks of Delta 17 figures that we've received as feedback, particularly as some don't necessarily sit very well. I did find that taking the figure apart and turning the T-hook around 180 degrees does help a bit and other friends have replaced the T-hook entirely with a thinner one used on Vintage Joes. As for other figures, here's a quick look at how it fits with the character of Dr. Diablo from fellow 3 and 3 quarter inch independent toy company and brand Strike Force Alpha. And of course, here's how the throne works for various members of Cobra. It's worth trying both the hooded and helmeted versions of Cobra Commander and surrounding him with various troops. It's also worth giving Serpentor a try on this throne, naturally, as he's the Cobra Emperor. However, I feel that the throne is most optimized for Destro. Being an actual arms dealer, through his Mars Industries, I think it's worth trying both the original 1983 version of Destro on the throne and surrounding him by other figures, or also the 1988 Iron Grenadiers release of him and putting various troops around the throne. Do take note as well that Gridiron Studios themselves did use a modern Destro in promotional shots, and have a look at the price here to decide for yourself if it's worth the purchase. A lot of people will put these thrones with either their 4 inch G.I. Joe modern construction figures or similarly sized ones like those by Marauder or Fresh Monkey Fiction. In any case, this is an item worth sharing right here on Toy Connections and its versatility offers it up to fit into whatever 1 18th scale collection that you happen to have. Let me know what you think and don't forget to click on some of my other content right over here. And with that, I'll see you all next time. Thanks again and take care.